Okay, today we are going to eat this restaurant. This is one of my very favorite Tonkos restaurants in Taiwan. So in here, we're not only eating hot pot, but we also have some, you can see. So this is ice cream. So they have uh, four different flavors. And this one is the cone. We have some cookie. Wow. So we can eat as many cookie as we want, as many ice cream as we want. They also have some drinks. So they have a cola and Sprite and things. Some tea and some sweet drinks. They also have some sugar free tea. Coffee, if you like coffee, then this one, you must try. Oh, this is popcorn. If you like to eat popcorn, you gotta come to uh, here. The very first thing we have to take rice. It's a free river rice. You can take as much as you want. They actually have noodle too. We're boiling the hot pot. Today I order kimchi taste. I think I always order this. The meat that I choose is beef. So at the first time it comes with the raw food and we have to cook it. Uh, I took popcorn, right? So this is a sweet popcorn. It's one of my very favorite. Mm. It's pretty fresh, crunchy. Mm. There's no time limit. This is such a heaven if you really like popcorn. Ah, ah, ah. You know why I like this restaurant? Because this restaurant is the most CBG hot pot. I think oh, I remember when I was staying in Shinju. At that time was the first time I found this restaurant. You only pay once a week and eat food. They also have some additional food, right? Including the ice cream, coffee, and all of the drinks. You get everything. Oh, I think it's ready to eat. <coughs> you remember I took sauce, right? Basically, I like chili, so I put a lot of chili in here. Mm, I like to eat spicy. Usually, me, I will eat the rice with the spicy sauce first. I used to eat the best in the last. Wow. I feel the sauce tastes very good. This sauce is called Sha Cha. Spicy. I think if I'm very hungry, I just can literally eat the sauce and the rice. Even the rice and the sauce on the heart. So good. Let's eat the main part. This is the Bao Thai, kimchi. The kimchi taste is strong. I don't know what is this, but it's like a rice cake or something. But I find this pretty common in hot pot in Taiwan. Mm. Mm. I think one common thing about hot pot in Taiwan is they always give a lot of gaoli thai, cabbage. Thai mm. thai. I think it's good if we eat hot pot in the winter, right? It suits the weather. Because outside it's hot and we'll eat hot pot. It will have a warm feeling. Oh, this is a topo skin. This one, right? Wow. This one is also one of my very favorite. Let's try it. This is another rice cake. Dip into the sauce. Mm. They will not limit your time to stay in here. You can eat as long as you want. 
I see people keep coming now. There's gonna be more and more people. Oh, this one. I think this is a something like crab, crab stick. Yeah, crab stick. Soft already. Kimchi. Mm. I think if you eat a lot, then maybe you will just eat this one day meal. You will be full for the whole day. Mm, the pretty sad thing is, this restaurant is far from where I live. But before, when I was in Shinchu, I lived pretty close. So basically, the sauce, put it into the kimchi. Wow! The main part is the beef. Mm. Almost full, but we still have a lot. Oh, do you know this is uh, one of uh, mushroom? I think it's called enoki. Enoki? Enoki, right? <laughs> In Bahasa, this is jamu enoki. Mm. Mm, crunchy. It will take some time to chew that. Beef again and again. I think they give quite more beef compared to the other hot pot shop. I think dipping the beef into the sauce. And then eat it. Mm. I always remember every time after I eat hot pot in here, I'm gonna be full, feeling very full and I feel oh, so regret why I eat that much. But every time after um, the feeling of full is gone, I want to come back again because the taste is good. Really. Usually if they sell cheap hot pot then the bowl is small. It will cost around 120, 130 and the dollar and it's small bowl. I'm not sure they will have additional food that you can taste like ice cream or popcorn. But if you want the fancy style of a hot pot and then you want to eat more things then usually it will cost around 400, 500 anti dollar which is, well I feel it's pretty expensive and this one, you guess how much? 160, 160, 170 that, that price, around that price then you get all of this and you can take everything from all of the side dishes good deal though if you don't eat pork, we can choose beef or lamb there's a lamb also have chicken. Okay. I can make it. Mm. Oh yeah. If I eat in Indonesia, I'm pretty sure they will cut the cabbage. But in here, they will just put the cabbage. Even it's very big, so it's just so big. Yes. So from the original cabbage, because this is in kimchi soup, so now the cabbage tastes like kimchi. Cabbage a lot. By the way, I have ever asked one Taiwanese friend in here. I was asking, do you feel shy if you eat in a restaurant alone? Because I feel <laughs> when I was in Indonesia and I go to eat alone by myself, and I feel like everybody will look at me if I eat alone. Hmm? In my mind, people might think, oh, why you eat alone? You don't have friends? Or this guy is so weird to eat alone. Everyone will look at you. But when I asked one of Taiwanese in here, and he said, hmm? why weird? It's okay. I think, I don't know, but I feel in Indonesia, that's my experience. You have many eyes who look at you. But in here it's pretty common and it's fine, it's okay if you sometimes want to eat by yourself, you eat alone, and you can be freely to just sit in a restaurant and, and enjoy your food, enjoy your meals. And sometimes if you want to bring some friends or some people with you, then it's okay. So not every time you can go out with your friends, but you also can sometimes enjoy by yourself. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, I'm not saying that every part in Indonesia, I mean like everyone in Indonesia is like that, but in many times we have that kind of feelings. Or maybe I'm just too overthinking, I'm not sure. I just have that kind of feeling. Mm. I literally eat all the things in the hot pot. Ice cream time. Their ice cream is too ye. Do you know Tu Lao Ye ice cream is pretty famous in Taiwan and in the outside if you eat Tu Lao Ye like a cup I think it will cost around 30 dollars 
but here you can <laughs> eat as many as you want and you can just can take if you like to ice cream I like chocolate and vanilla but they don't have chocolate today Of course you can put the ice cream on the cone, but I prefer to eat this way. And the next that I want to try is this one. This is a, another snack that we take from the corner. Let's try it. Mm. It tastes a little bit like fish. Yeah. Drinks. Cheers. Mm. This is oolong cha. Yeah, I think that's it for today. Okay, I'm pretty full right now. If you want to come, I'll put the address of the shop in the description box. So this is one of my favorite hot pot shop in Taiwan. Okay, thank you very much for accompanying me today for eating great hot pot shop. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. This is such a heaven if you really like hot pot. You can take as much as you want. There's no time limit. You just buy the, buy the hot pot. Then you get this.